Hello, hello, welcome friends. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney, this is Maverick. And today you are going to be coming to the gym with me. As you can see, we're in a new environment. This is my little corner of the room. This is my boyfriend's apartment. Hi, Mavi. How you doing, buddy? And I'm in his bedroom right now. We are moving. We're currently in the process of moving to East Hollywood. So I don't have a place yet. <laughs> so I'm literally trying to make do, filming, doing content, doing all of the things in his apartment and bringing you along for the ride. I'm in a new part of town and I have a new gym membership. It's kind of a fancy gym, which is awesome and so fun and it's so exciting. But yeah, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be taking you there. Hopefully I won't get kicked out or reprimanded for filming. Honestly, I have no idea. So this is my first time trying to bring a camera to the gym, so we shall see. Today I have a back and biceps workout planned. We're gonna do some weightlifting and then I have a Pilates class at 4.30 that I wanted to go to. I went to Pilates for the first time last week and it was so much fun. So I'm gonna try it again this week, see how it goes. But yeah, I wanted to get a lift in first. So we're gonna do that. I'm kind of already ready for the day. I've got my hair done, I got some makeup on, but we're just gonna get changed, pack my gym bag and head out. Come along, come join me. Okay, you don't get to see this part, sorry. It's only after I watch the video back that I realize how badly I need to clean my blazers. These are the only pair of shoes that I wear to the gym right now. I used to have these white slip-on vans that I wore religiously. Eventually they just got so dirty I had to get something new, so I turned to my cool, hip, younger sister who told me that all the cool kids wear blazers, so I got myself some blazers. They're not my favorite, if I'm being honest. I think I just don't like shoes that limit my ankle mobility. What are you doing? It's just a bunch of lettuce. No, it's like a delicious uh, lettuce wrapped sausage. It's sausage okay. on a bed of romaine. It's. My name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. Look at that. To me, that doesn't look fucking amazing. It looks like something. It looks fucking amazing, is what you mean to say? This is how you know it's. Uh, Time to go grocery shopping. Ice. This video is not sponsored by Gainful, but gosh, I sure wish it was. I love this company. I have had the opportunity to work with several other supplement brands, a few much more popular than this one, but I specifically choose to work with Gainful because they are a startup with a vision that I enjoy supporting. I do work with them, but I don't think they even know I have a YouTube account, so I guess you could say this is like a voluntary ad. They have incredible customer service, research-backed ingredients, and admirable transparency with all of their products. Plus, all their stuff tastes amazing and performs really well. Usually before I leave for the gym, I'll throw on a pump cover, as the cool kids say, and wear like an oversized t-shirt or sweatshirt or something, but under the circumstances, most of my things are in a storage unit right now, so I'm making do with the little bit of clothes that I did pack in this transition period. Dang, my car needs a car wash. I have so much in my car right now from moving. I think all these bags are supposed to be donated. So, oh, gotta get on that. You like my Hermione Granger to keychain? Hee hee hee. Oh, I'm getting a call. Oh, Ashley's calling me. Do 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 do. Here she is in all of her fancy glory. My new gym called High Mat in Hollywood. Yeah, come on, look at these locker rooms. I feel like I'm in the Ritz-Carlton right now. This is the most unnecessarily fancy gym that I have ever graced with my presence. Everyone keeps calling it a social club, which I suppose may be a more accurate term. I have been street parking and feeding the meters every day for the past month because the alternative is a $30 monthly valet fee. 
yeah, I said valet fee, which is more than my last gym membership in total. Come to find out that paying $30 for valet is cheaper than feeding the meters, so I opted for valet for the first time today and waited in line behind an Audi, a Mercedes, and a Tesla. I'm not exaggerating. The gym includes reformer Pilates, bar, hot yoga, boxing, and cycling classes in the membership. So for most cities, LA especially, if you want access to all of these things, then you'd need an expensive membership at about five different places. This, plus the fact that my career revolves around fitness, led me to label my membership here as a logical business expense. <laughs> plus, I sacrificed getting my nails done to afford it. And as a chronic nail biter, this was in fact a pretty difficult sacrifice since the only thing that ever gets me to stop biting my nails is to get gel X or acrylics. Alas, I took it as a sign to quit biting my nails for about the fifth time in my life, so wish me luck. A fancy gym has its pros and cons. I've worked out in the gym bro environment with rusty iron weights, no air conditioning, and a lot of grunting, sweaty men. While I could go without the humidity, these kinds of gyms usually do inspire the grind, no pain, no gain, train like you're about to be drafted for World War III mentality, which can produce some pretty awesome results. However, drinking a $10 green juice in a sauna post-workout set to the tune of some yogi frequency music gives a completely different feeling of health and wellness. I'd like to think that both of these identities sit on my shoulders like a devil-angel duo. Selection of this gym means I may have temporarily sided with the green juice yogi angel, but I expect like everything else in my life, I'll tire of that soon enough and turn to the gym bro dark side once again. I am done with Pilates. That's the second Pilates class I've ever done and it was so much fun. Um, I'm in a weird place with my fitness routine right now because I don't really have one. Like I'm going consistently to the gym, but I have zero program and I think that's okay. These past couple of weeks trying to move apartments has been literally crazy. And so I try to forgive myself, you know, I'm doing the best that I can. The fact that I'm going consistently is already enough for me to pat myself on the back, but I think if I'm being honest with myself, the main reason I don't have a program right now and the main reason I'm not following a routine is because, uh, how do I say this? I'm going to bring you guys into my, my brain. Um, I think I'm muscular enough. <laughs> And here's the thing, my number one reason that I work out, that I train, is for health. My mental and physical health. The second reason is to feel confident in my body. And a big part of feeling confident in your body is liking what you see in the mirror. And I think that beautiful comes in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Like, I am not just like, fucking with you when I say that. Like, I genuinely find beautiful women everywhere and like in so many different varieties. Like I find bigger women beautiful. I find skinnier women beautiful. I find strong and muscular Hercules looking ass women beautiful. Um, but when it comes to myself, like I think I generally feel better in like a more athletic, like lean, agile, long, long is not the right word. I've been training like a bodybuilder honestly for a minute, but I'm just kind of like, I'm bored and I'm looking to just spice things up and I'm also looking to like train more for performance and enjoyment and less for hypertrophy. I feel like there's this push and this pressure to be okay with being extremely muscular and I certainly think it's okay to be extremely muscular, but I also think it's okay for me to want to try a different thing. But here's the thing, I think also I struggle with the idea that like, I think that when I'm making content and I'm like posting on TikTok and I'm posting on YouTube and I'm posting like on my Instagram and stuff, I think that what people want is consistency, but I think what they really want is authenticity. And if I'm being honest with myself, I need to switch things up. I need to try some workout classes. I need to try some different styles of training in order to just continue enjoying it and also in order to like achieve the physique goals that I actually want instead of the ones that I think are kind of pushed on me in my industry. I hope that makes sense.
Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and click the little notification bell so that you never miss a fun video with me, Sydney. I appreciate you so much. If you watch this whole thing, I love you. Shoot me a little comment. Let's have a chat. Let's be friends. Lots of love. Have a wonderful weekend.